the more plants you grow, the greater is the risk of pest or disease infestation. Most pests are easier to control and manage, but there is one common troubled pest and it's difficult to get rid of worse than aphids or spider mites. And I'm going to tell you what it is and how to treat them effectively. So don't click away, be right back. Hello happy youtubers, this is Marcelina, welcome back. It has been a while since I uploaded my last video. Anyways, I'm back. What I'm going to talk about today is mealybug treatment. If you have mealybug infestation right now and you find it difficult how to get rid of this pest, so this video we're going to talk about mealybugs and show you how to treat them effectively. So I'm bringing Greg in this video and he's going to give you extra help. So let's get to it. All right guys, so Greg Sabin is here with me and he's going to show you how to get rid of mealybugs using the Azatec Plus. Plus. All, right. all right, so what you have to do here? First of all, let me do a shout out to all you YouTubers out there and all my fellows out there, veterans and all my boys in the 82nd Airborne Division out of Fort Bragg, especially the first of 508th Airborne. Rock on baby, <laughs> hoo Airborne oh, all yeah. the way. <laughs> All right, today we're talking about mealybugs, one of the most destructive bugs that you're gonna come across in your garden or in your greenhouse. These things are a pain in the butt, a royal pain in the butt. And I want you to take a look at what they do to my desert rose. <laughs> they get up along at the ends where the leaves are all is coming and they form at the junctions and they just stress the plant out like crazy. You can pick these things off and rub them. You can rip the leaves off, clean them up really good. The new leaves pop out and they're the, just there waiting for them to re-emerge and then they attack the plant and it keeps going through this vicious cycle. So we're going to show you guys how to get rid of these mealy bugs once and for all mm -hmm. with our new product called Azatec Plus. And I just want to show you guys exactly what happens here. First of all, alcohol is a great way to start when it comes to killing the mealybug. If you can see, there's a big mealybug right there by my finger. See that mealybug? Mm -hmm. It's got a white cocoon around it. That is the female mealybug. And she has a white, cottony, uh, protective layer wrapped around here that protects her and shadows and shields her from all different kinds of things. So well, the first thing that will remove this is just pure isopropyl alcohol 50 to 70 percent don't go to the 90 percent it'll burn your leaves but this is uh the first thing you'll do with the alcohol is you'll notice that it will remove and dissolve the wax coating that is on there that white that white coating it's waxy it'll dissolve that now for a large degree the alcohol will kill the mealy bug and it will also kill her eggs but you can't always you can't always get them on a flat surface like this a lot of times they get in between the crooks and the crevices and you, the alcohol evaporates really quick so it doesn't mm -hmm. once the alcohol is dried up it's no longer going to be effective mm -hmm. so in our special ingredients here in our azatec plus we have other additives in here that are going to help us break this coating down i'm going to spray this real quick and as you can see now it has already turned brown the coating. white coating on that mealybug has already been dissolved and this thing is going to die. The ingredients that we have in the Azatec Plus is going to also coat this and not allow it to dry up so it will kill this and uh, won't make it real easy for the mealybug to come back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it keeps a, a coating is going to be on there. So this, this baby, he's dead. He's gone. Mm -hmm. So the uh, the uh, so we're gonna spray. Azate Azate plus is uh, is great to control heavy infestation. Yeah. Now one of the things you want to do with any any uh, application is do a patch test on a on a leaf, a single leaf. I've already used this a lot of times on my desert roses, but I haven't used the, the plus on here. So this is the first time for me on using the Azate plus on my desert rose getting up here in all these little crevices. Mm -hmm. And how often do you apply this? Uh, once a week for once a week. about mm, three, three weeks and just keep going back. And when you don't see those little critters coming out with their little white patchy 
cocoons because they lay eggs underneath those um, mealybugs. They have an egg clutch for lack, and they will protect those eggs. And one of my biggest things I used to wonder about was how in the world did that mealybug get all the way up in my citrus tree? Did you go over, you want to go over that? Yeah, um, the, that, that is the reason why mealybug is difficult to control because not only they protect themselves with this uh, waxy filament, they, they also bring their little friend, which is the ants. Yeah, they, <laughs> so they, you call, have, they call Uber. What, what they call that? They call, them, they call Uber, Uber. The, uh, the mealybugs they call so Uber. So you, you, actually you have two enemies. You got two enemies. So, you, got, you got ants mm -hmm. actually carry your mealybugs up the branch of the tree and plant them where the mealybugs are going to thrive mm -hmm. on the tender new shoots of your leaves. And what they, they're, they're suckers, they're sap suckers. Mm -hmm. Well, when that mealybug starts sucking your sap, he produces a honey mm -hmm. that he excretes through his anus. And the ants come behind it and they suck up that honey. That's horrible. It's sweet. It's sweet. And when you see the uh, the mealy bug and the aphids on your plants, you'll always see that shiny, sticky residue on your leaves. That's the honey. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Just remember that there are there are a lot of uh, species of mealy bugs that sometimes it's c confusing for you. So we got to we got a two part a two part problem. We got to get rid of the mealy bugs mm -hmm. and we got to get rid of the ants. Yeah, so Most I think, people the, don't first think about one, the ants. The first one that you have to kill is the ants first. Kill the ants. Mm -hmm. You kill the ants, you kill their transportation, how they're getting to your plants. So we have so that the um I got two solutions for that. Number one, you might not and I got, actually I got three. You might not like the third one. She don't mm -hmm. like my third one, but I like it. Number one, diatomaceous earth. Sprinkle diatomaceous earth all around your plant. It won't harm your plant. All it is is crushed fossilized. Crushed, micro crustaceans from millions of years old and you crush them up and they're like little tiny miniature shards of glass and when the ants crawl across they have to go up your tree they get these little shards of glass underneath their hard shell body and it cuts them and they die that is probably the safest and most effective way to get rid of the ants mm -hmm. second one is ant traps you can get these little round things. You can buy those at Lowe's or Home Depot and the little round traps. Just place them periodically. I don't like that garden. though. I don't like that because it's harmful. And uh, you know, what if the aphids is in between fruits? Because we like that well, area. Well, this is what you have to ask. And then if you... I, I don't like harmful chemicals. Ain't no fruit on here I'm going to eat. Well, well, I don't care. Yeah, okay. but you know the if ants will travel, you know. Yeah, they're going to die. They travel. The other one is called RID. It's a little, uh, you put these little square pieces of cardboard down on the table or ground. You put a drop of this stuff in there. It, it attracts the ants. They, they eat it. They get it on their legs. They take it back to their to their ant uh, colony and it wipes out and kills the queen and they all die. You controlled the ants last year mm -hmm. by using that, you mm -hmm. know. That were, it's very effective. Uh, we had it in the store. Use that and within three days you don't see any more ants they're completely gone but the day before there was like hundreds of them they, mm. it works that quickly but the diatomaceous earth is really an easy way very ineffective it's not expensive you can buy it's not the poisonous bag yeah. it's not poisonous i think we have a video on that and then the activities yeah but i don't remember which one it was i i forgot yeah so the first thing that you now before the treatment i would say before the treatment the best way is to prevent them so your prevention because the more plants you grow is you are more also attracting pests, uh, pests and diseases and like we have here uh, mealybugs mostly uh, more you see in greenhouse or indoor plants and spring and summer are months mealybugs will attract because they are in the active growth so it, this is a reminder if your plant is infested with mealybugs stop your nitrogen fertilization because you don't want mealybugs to keep growing on that uh, plant and your prevention is the best way so how to prevent it like like clean up your your plants make sure that they are healthy and happy and if you buy plants from nursery or online make sure you, you inspect the plant first and if there is any possible mealybugs or any insects or diseases inspect that and then keep that plant away from the other 
plant you have three days prior to purchase. So that is your prevention. And then if there is the infestation, a uh, small infestation, you can manage with alcohol. But the larger infestation, that's what Greg is talking about, you will need uh, Aztec Plus. And uh, you want to show the other product? This is also well, another uh, product we have in. Uh, we have in I don't have the other product labeled yet. yet. Yeah, but uh, this one showed them how to apply it. Well, this is the Azatec. Yeah. Straight and Azatec. I showed them how to apply it so when they and get the, it. The name means, Azatec stands for Azataractin Technologies. So where is the uh, bottom? On the water. All right, guys. So Greg Seven is going to uh, show you how to apply Azatec. And uh, this is the bottle, and he can tell you. All right, this is a one-gallon sprayer, and we got two ounces. We're going to add half of this bottle, one ounce per gallon. Real easy. Shake it up a little bit. This so it does settle. That the the, uh, the neem in here is very heavy. So and then you add that into a warm warm water. water. So you, do you have to pour nope. the whole thing? Nope, half. Oh, this will make half. this will make two gallons. This little bottle of concentrate will make two gallons in here. Okay, I need to fill it up with water. All right. All right. So we got one gallon of water mixed in with one ounce of Azatec. So Just normally, shake it up. normally you can use this That's twice. For two only, gallons. Only half. So that'll make two of these. That little bottle will make two of these. Mm -hmm. For most of you, this will last you for a month. Now in a greenhouse situation like this, we use considerably a lot more. But the when you're spraying this, spray the underside of the plant uh, as well. Let me let me grab one here. I saw. How about the mandibula? You wanna do the mandibula? No, because I don't want to have to go down there. Okay. Okay. Let's just take this one right here. All right. This is citrus. a little citrus. We're gonna spray the bottom of the leaves. Show it again. And the tops, and that neem oil is a, will stick on this plant for a long time. The only way it'll come off is if you water it, spray it with an overhead hose, mm -hmm. and that will wash it off over a period of time. So we're going to link this guys. Uh, get it today because spring is coming pretty soon, and you definitely need as a tech. Now, let me tell you something real quick about this product as opposed to some of the other product you buy in the big box stores. This is pure, first squeeze, 100% cold pressed, Zataractin neem oil. The stuff you buy in the store is not first squeezed. It's the leftover stuff that has absolutely, virtually nil Zataractin in there. And that's the chemical that mm -hmm. makes this stuff a growth inhibitor for all your insects. It doesn't kill it. Insects, like insects go through various stages of development from egg to larvae and then to uh, sometime into a pupa and then to an adult and what the growth inhibitor does is it prevents that animal that insect from going from one stage to the next mm -hmm. and they have to ingest it it is not a contact killer it does not kill that insect like uh, some of the other spray stuff this is a natural means of getting rid of pests it's not a contact. So how often think. do you apply Azatec? Okay, I would do it once a week mm -hmm. because some of the some of the insects they have to eat it, ingest it mm -hmm. when they're eating your plant and they're sucking your sap. Some of them aren't sucking it yet, so they're not going to die until they actually eat this stuff, and mm -hmm. it gets inside their body and it kills them from the inside out. Mm -hmm. So this is your uh, managing your uh, pest and fungus disease. But if you want millibug, it's difficult as what, what I, I said, it's difficult to get rid of, it continues. So you need to use the uh, Azatec Plus to control the millibug infestation if it is heavy infestation. Alcohol, as I mentioned, it's only good for least infestation and it dries so, so quick. So yeah, make Azatec sure, Plus. Make sure you don't use anything higher than 70% isopropyl alcohol. Don't use any of the other kind of alcohols, mm -hmm. wood alcohol, grain alcohol, just isopropyl alcohol. And mm -hmm. like I said before, do a patch test, spray on just one leaf on your plant. And some, sometimes uh, some leaves of plants are very sensitive to neem and to alcohol and they will shrivel up and become all crunchy and brittle the next day. And you say, well, I'm glad I didn't spray my whole plant. So when is the Azatec Plus available? It's available now. 
Oh, really? Yeah, so, I just don't have it listed yet. I mean, it's ready. I'll, I just got to put it on our website, and uh, you guys, you guys will really, really like this stuff. Mm -hmm. So check. So if we're using it in our garden, so yeah. we and make all, sure that we, you can use this. Uh, this stuff, this stuff right here is very good, but the Azatec Plus is, is better. awesome. <laughs> it's much better. <laughs> well, the one of the ingredients in the Azatec Plus will kill the aphids on contact, mm -hmm. but then it'll coat it with the azadiractin, which is an oily substance that will stay on that leaf for longer term and will prevent the next generation or the eggs from coming out. Although the, the uh, alcohol will kill eggs and the adult, but it's a short term. It, it Like I said, it, it evaporates really quickly. Aztec Plus will stay mm -hmm. on there afterwards. All right, so don't forget guys, check the link below for Aztec and Aztec Plus. And then uh, try the, so you have to try it, the leaves, to make sure you know because mm -hmm. some of the plants are sensitive to the product or any chemicals that we use so try the uh, pre-treatment and then make sure that it is good for that plant and then i think my word of advice never never get a plant that that is very attractant to aphids or attractant to minimum and like your this is a this desert is rose, Edinium. He loves this. I love rose. these plants, but it's a very hard plant with the mealy bugs constantly, and they also spider mites love this plant too. Mm -hmm. And when I don't see any mealy bugs, I think, wow, it's doing really good, and all of a sudden leaves start fading out and start dropping off, and I go, what the heck? Mm -hmm. And I have to look with my magnifying glass, and there I can see the spider mites. So this Azatec Plus also kills spider mites so too. So get Azatec Plus, guys, and. Uh, Try it for yourself. If if we have successful controlling our pests in our greenhouse using the Azatec and Azatec Plus, then hope you also like the product. And if you got head lice, works on head lice too. Oh come on! <laughs> <laughs> oh, ah, that's uh, what a lot of people use the uh, neem oil as a shampoo, and it kills head lice. So your Azatec Plus will be good too? Yeah, buddy. Azatec will actually be better than Azatec Plus. Plus it has soap in it, so you can, like a shampoo, right? So if you guys are new <laughs> in this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and share with your friends. And I think uh, this is for today. So is there any extra information you want to give in terms of, the, besides the Azatec? Subscribe to the channel. Help our channel by clicking that little like button so mm -hmm. that YouTube sees you guys like this channel and they will recommend it to other youtubers and help our channel grow mm -hmm. we want more people to see this uh, a lot of people are waiting for our videos to come out but a lot of people don't get a chance to see our videos mm -hmm. and uh, there's so much competition out there now for YouTube videos it's hard to find mm -hmm. people and the only way we can do it is with the uh, algorithms this is mm -hmm. shared by the likes yeah so so hopefully this video help you guys in terms of controlling millibugs and uh, if you have mealybug infestation right now, so get the Azotec and then get it going. One so, more thing. One more thing. Put this adenium back up on here. Mm -hmm. And give me some water in here, would you? <laughs> I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you guys one more thing before you go. Uh, about half. Half. Okay. Give That's me. Half. Give me the H2O2 down there. H2O2. Over there. All right. Here's one more thing. Another thing, and I know this isn't mealybugs, but a lot of times mealybugs are also down here inside the pot. Mm -hmm. And if you're spraying the plant, you're not getting this. So what we're going to do, I'm going to show you this. Get some H2O2, a.k.a. hydrogen peroxide. Mix some of that in your water like that. And we're going to pour this all over the plant like this. That would kill also the air. This will also kill any of the, the uh, gnats that are laying larvae in here that are attacking the finer, smaller roots that will also kill your plant. So we're gonna get rid of the fungus gnats mm -hmm. and any mealy bugs that fell in here also by using the hydrogen peroxide. So we're, we're treating the soil, we're treating the plant. That's a one-two knockout right there. And this plant should spring right back. Mm -hmm. And I will show you this. I don't care if we're doing a video on green beans. <laughs> I'm gonna bring this plant back during the, uh, in a couple weeks and show you how this plant has turned around and that's all I got to say.
<laughs> all right guys so thank you for watching if you have any questions uh write your comments below check the website cashewgreens.com and get your azotech plus or azotech thank you for, for today guys for today peace, peace out, out.